Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. So, this episode, we are going to be on to Orzammar to finish off all the things we've got to do here. We've got to do Shale's quest, we've got to go and... Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Topsider's Sword in Ortan Tag. So, we are going to take Shale, he's back in the team as our tank. Take Morgan in our new armour. And we're going to take Sten, because... I like Stem better than Alquin right now. So, Orzmar. So, in terms of side quests, this is the second last big side quest kind of thing we do in the game. Oh, unexpected. Uh, but we'll get our. Very odd. Uh, oh, this is the merchant. Right. We've already been here. Do you have coins, stranger? Doors of Mark, fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Okay. Uh, well, we'll look at his stuff. But yeah, in side quests, we've got um, a lot of companion quests to do after the Mage's Tower. But that's it. I'm going to see if he sells anything particularly worth getting. It doesn't look like he does. I think it just gives you this again so that you. Um, it gives you this every so often in case you accidentally sell him something worth a lot of money. We're pretty much finished uh, all the random events, I believe, apart from ones that will appear with certain companions. So, off this way. Is that more misty than usual? Hmm. Maybe. I think actually we might have been able to go straight into the deep roads if we use the right map. Anyway. Hello, Commander. Oh, wait, Shale needs to level up. I didn't spot that until right now. Uh, we're going to give him a bit more constitution. He can also have... It doesn't really matter. We're not using him again. Or at least we're not using him in that form. What's this? Kadash tag. So that's Shale's one. Where's Ortan tag? Cardin's Cross. Ortan tag. Do that one first. There's some caves east of Ortan. So that's here. Unless it's that one. I think it's here-ish. That's what we're looking for. So, east. There you go. Warrior's Grave. Uh, so, I'm guessing you must find the grave, then you go and find all the bits, so and you come back. The Swamp Witch and the Grey Warden are, um, intimate. I am hoping that is not a reference to Alistair. Because it believes I am an oblivious moron. Anything is possible. As to the original question, is there a reason you ask? I'm simply curious as to whether or not it bewitched the Grey Warden. <laughs> I have no need to force anything from men. Oh, my apologies then. I was about to offer my congratulations for a task accomplished. And not intended as a backhanded compliment at all, yes? Not at all. I'm the soul of politeness. Yeah, I'm right here, guys. <sighs> anyway. So yeah, um, I think we cleared through this area before and didn't find anything. But I think we were meant to go straight to the objective, find like all the topsiders bits along that way, and then we come back and clear this area. Unless I got this backwards and I just missed this entirely the first time. Perfectly possible. Oh, I actually remember this room. Oh, that was horrible. Because it crashed um, a little bit afterwards. Warrior's Grave. Okay. Items received. Topsiders. Honor. A lot of damage against undead. Okay. That's that done. I'm just going to check we've got nothing else here. What's up here? I'm curious now. Because we're missing the Legion of the Dead thing. And it might be worth just having a quick look. Because we can fast travel from in here, I believe. So, might as well do a quick fast travel. <sighs> Hate spiders. 
Oh, we could see how Ruck's doing. Yeah. We'll see. He might have some uh, health pulses on him. We'll go and have a look, actually. Yeah, if we have a time at the end of the episode, I might do some handing out of all the gifts that we've got for um, for each of the companions and then go through a bit more conversation. We'll see. Hello, Ruck. Good friend is back. A good friend won't make Ruck remember the light. How can Ruck help the friend? Um, anything to trade? For you, yes. Ruck has many things. He can give them, and you don't even have to give him shiny coins. No. <laughs> but you can if you want. I prefer not to, but... I mean, I guess we will. Hmm. We could buy... Looking for the right one. We could buy all of his deep mushrooms to make potions. Let me check. Morrigan. One of herbalism. So you can make le as many lesser health... Oh, we need to... Um, Alfred, I was thinking of Mabari Crunch, maybe? Yeah. We might actually make about... Uh, I don't know, 20 of these? There you go. 23. That'll do. It's um, not great for actual healing purposes, but it will do fine for what we're doing. Like, it'll heal our weak characters. So, across the bridge, down the hall. Right. So, across the bridge, down there, and then straight forward. Yeah, we pretty much cleared out this place, but there's just that f tiny little bit that's uh, bugging me. Like right there, I, I wouldn't uh, want to miss that. Just because I, I get really OCD about getting all of the uh, quests correct, like having all of them done, if I can do it. Unless it's like bring me. Uh, 20 health posts, in which case I'm out. I just want, don't really want a part of that. Okay. Oh, we missed it. Ah, it's along there. It's not actually an area we can get to. Okay. So we should be able to travel from here to... Not travel at this time. Can we go to park? Okay. Uh, what's the quickest way out here? What's the quickest way would be to go all the way up there? We could have a quick look at the uh, next tag along. It's called something gate, maybe. I forgot what what the actual term was. But. Mm, I think we might go into it, just have a look at the map, and if nothing pops up on the map, we'll leave it. So, dead trenches. Um, nah, actually, we're just going to go and do Shale's quest. I'll leave it. It's not a big thing, anyway. The Legion of the Dead. As far as I know, anyway. Here, unlock Kadash Dark Darkspawn. Already. Command me. She should be using her other stuff anyway. With combat magic gone. Can I zoom out a little bit more? It's not letting me. Oh, there it is. Oh. Um. I'm gonna move Morgan up. Uh, freeze this genlock. Wonder if we can see what level they are. Ah, uh, not in this one. Just head. Oh, shrieks! I'm just trying to see exactly where Morgan's angle is and who they've got. Don't think either of them are using overwhelm, so we're fine. We'll just do them like that. Oh, that wasn't a uh, uh, quick enough. Waking Nightmare. Oh. 
apparently a good strategy for, I remember this from a while back, good strategy for when you have a sword instead of a staff is to constantly cast abilities that um, you, that you, uh, that, like, use that same animation. Because there are some that uh, you can cast without having to put away your sword and some that you can cast without having to put away your sword. So, if you can get a whole bunch in a row, you can uh, do it without having to bring your sword in and out. Just a small thing. Okay, what level are these guys? 13! Oh, we're at level them. Oh. This is it. Kadash Tig. Remember anything? Perhaps. It may also be where I was found. These ruins are always overrun by vermin. There may be something noteworthy further in, however. Okay. We'll have a look. Was this the home once? Did I live here? Possibly. Right. Freeze. See, she has to put away the um, weapon, which means that it's a little bit... We can't do Cone of Cold quite as quickly as we used to. That's fine. It's not a massive thing. Come back. Attack that one. And you also attack that one. Ah, I thought I told um, Stan Morgan. Yes. Better. They're trying to bait us into this. Oh, Bronto. Let's freeze the Bronto. Okay. I think sleep, waking nightmare is a good idea. Let's uh, do that back there. Where's Waking Nightmare? There it is. And then freeze the Bronto. So hopefully that archer's on our side. Yeah, he's distracting the other archers. Still have combat magic on. Take a potion. Good. And we can now use Morgan to uh, bash them to death. Is quite nice. Yeah, it might be better with short range targets just to uh, allow Morgan to hit them. There. Maybe better for groups as well to have her using the staff just so we can cone of cold quicker. Given that the staff also increases cold damage, that's not a bad idea. Very well. So I might have her uh, on staff until we have like one hard to kill enemy and then we'll switch to sword. Some armored boots, something to sell. All was good. What we got over there? Gen locks? Yeah, her locks and gen locks. Fine. Mm, don't want to miss anything here. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. And a sun shaft. Okay, it's not that many enemies. We're just going to stick um, the blizzard on the back line. Ooh. Got a crushing prison. That's not good. I think we're dead. Stan? Where does the emissary go from? Morgan died. Yeah. That's not great. Can, right, continue on the emissary. If he can't cast abilities, he can't hurt him. Okay, we got hit by a trap. Uh, you should have summoned some kind of animal. I should put that in his tactic so I don't forget. Like, if he doesn't have it. I wonder if there's a way to do that. If if you don't have animal, then summon animal. Okay, we got debuff on us. We're going to back off a little bit now. Just in case. Join the group.
Oh, he died. This isn't going well at all. Couple of backstabs. We're gonna run straight at the mage here so that we can try and uh, beat him up. We stab is he gonna let us stand behind him and stab him? Apparently so. That's very nice of him. Yeah, that's a really difficult to uh, counteract thing, the crushing prism. I think you really have to have two mages, because that's the only way you can heal other people. And just considering this constitution thing, it gives minus strength and minus willpower. Which is actually alright for certain... Uh, yeah, for certain characters. Maybe an archer? would be better with that. Or a rogue. Although I would want them to have more damage. It's not really that great for a mage. Because they wouldn't have uh, the willpower. It might be good for someone like Shale, but Shale can't use it. Penalty to cunning makes absolutely no difference. Who's the other one? Sten? Pe oh, he has the penalty to cunning. They both got penalty to cunning. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. A chest. Some sovereigns. Some them pay for all that armor that we bought last episode. Or two episodes. I can't even remember. Save game saved automatically. What have we got over here? Herlock, Herlock. There must be an emissary. Whatever was once here is gone. <gasps> Ooh. Deep stalkers. I love killing these guys. Because they're so easy to kill. See, this is the kind of fight where I want to have the staff. Because the staff is going to uh, allow me to freeze these guys quicker. Where are the traps? There's a trap. Okay. Get the trap. Actually. Uh, everyone stand still. You go get that trap. We'll cast uh, Blizzard on all of them. Bow and arrow. We'll just shoot in. Very easy. Turn off full position. And done. Oh, would not have seen this bit before. Bit of rubble. One fire crystal in it. Yeah. Oh, deep stalker drops them. Wonder if we're gonna find more drakes. Probably not. I think we must have killed pretty much every drake in the game if uh, we got told to go away by Wade. And Heron. Well, really only Heron to this to go away. Wade would have been happy for to do this all day. Oh. I see these guys were meant to jump us if we join the fight. I get it. Very, very easy fight. Right. Continue to get all of this stuff. Right. Got all the loot. Just checking that there wasn't another area. Where are these deep stalkers running off to? Some more gen locks up ahead. Hmm. Door of an armor. Our survival skills not picking up anything, so we're going to be jumped if we get if we uh, into combat. Okay. 
Yep, there, yeah, told you. Sometimes the game's just a bit predictable. Can we zoom out? Yeah, okay. If I find an angle where we can actually uh, see. See, um, I was saying this last episode, when she gets too close to enemies, she'll switch to her sword. Because I put her back on default, it goes to ranged. Our last episode where we're in combat. I think. Which is kind of good. Seems that she won't die easily. Let's open this chest. It's locked. It must be good. It's not. It's really not. We do actually have a crossbow on uh, on Sten. Because it scales off strength. But I never use it because Sten's just bent. He's able to survive fights now. So he doesn't need to have the crossbow. Oh, there's melee a bit. Yeah, there's a, it, it's very difficult this fight. We might try, like... It's not difficult, but it's um, awkward to have to fight so many at once. I think using uh, Mind Blast though helps out. Nobody's taking damage from these guys. It's just taking time. Right. We really? That's gonna stun her. Yeah. Almost seems like a waste to actually use abilities on these guys because I mean we do get mana and health back in fights, but it just takes longer to use the abilities than it does to just hit them to death. Oh, leader! That's a code in this game for last enemy, like last group of enemies, generally. Hmm. Although sometimes it has multiple leaders. Kinda odd green stuff over there. Hopefully Shale can tell us what this is. Crawling with filth. Typical. Oh. That's just filth. Okay. Genlock, Genlock, okay. Back to our staff. We're gonna freeze that guy. Freeze that guy. And then we're going to Mind Blast. Okay. Uh, I'm just checking if we got any mages. Doesn't appear to be any mages. We don't want to be in this crossfire because if they scatter shot, then we're dead. So let's send Morgan out here, and she can uh, switch to her melee weapons and start beating the archers up. Yep, that works quite well because uh, they get interrupted in their. Uh, in their bow casting. Bow casting? They get interrupted in their attacks. So, unless, of course, they have melee archer ability. Which they can have. I know. Full spar. Malachite. Might want, uh, I think we're going to give all these to the dwarfs. Yeah. Gems are really the best one to give away. Who are we fighting? Ooh, rogues. I think they were meant to attack us, like, if we ran into the archers over here, but the archers ran away. Wanna have a look around here, see if there was aha, uh -huh, a check. Some shrieks. Shriek Alpha. 
Okay. Let's take the debuff on the alpha so that it affects everyone. Sleep. Waking Nightmare. Oh, and we got a shatter on the alpha right after I used the debuffs. Perfect. The, the debuffs uh, had their purpose and then... I assume the resistance lowering it helps with that. I don't, don't actually, I didn't actually check. You called. Um, oh, that was as you wish. A glitchy conversation thing. I didn't really want to talk to them. I was trying to click on that. I think it um, glitched out a little bit because the game was still in combat mode, and then we did it at the last second. We got coming up from there. Uh, this appears to be archers and normal dark spawn. Yep, just archers and normal dark spawn. It's not that difficult a uh, section, really. I'm gonna try and stun these guys. Oh, Genlock Alpha. We'll stick some debuffs on them. Oh yeah, I forgot I had um, that tactic on Sten that makes him go and he, he basically just charges high level enemies. I forgot that. I have that on by default. Okay. I did it um, so that he would pommel strike mages, I believe. Don't want to be caught in the archer crossfire, but that's fine. Killed all of them. Move out of the way. Aha! Get him. Take his health. Good. We got all of them. So we've had Shriek Alpha, we've had the Deep Stalker leader. We've had an emissary. I think we're almost done in that case. Ah, two and a half sovereigns. Perfect. And we've got a little bit more to do, but we're going to go and fight that ogre alpha next time. See you then. Goodbye.